Hey, hey, how are you? So somebody put to me a couple of questions that I thought were very good. So uh, let me just jump into it. I was watching this series of videos about clean code by Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob is a highly experienced developer who's out there, and I haven't agreed with everything he says. Uncle Steph doesn't always agree with Uncle Bob, but in this particular situation, I do agree, and I'm going to elaborate. So he goes on. In the last section, part five, he discusses frameworks and why it is important to be more cautious about them. The relevant sections are here. Let me go on. He says, what is your take on this? Are frameworks overused? Do they eventually start slowing down a project when used indiscriminately? I have to say that this makes me even more enthusiastic about going through the intermediate project-based courses with PHP that only use vanilla PHP rather than Laravel. It seems methodologically better. I got that one pretty good. It seems methodologically better to understand how to do things without a framework rather than just jump into frameworks head first. So pretty good comments. So let me just hit the particular points. So are frameworks overused? I don't know that they're overused, but uh, they should be used with some consideration. So for example, if you're building a simple e-commerce site, you may, we're selling just a few products. You don't need to implement some full blown MVC framework like uh, Laravel for PHP or uh, Express for Node. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it depends on the circumstances. You have to make the judgment call when to use one of these frameworks. Because when you're using a framework, there's a huge amount of power that comes with the framework, but there's also a certain amount of overhead. Not all frameworks are created equal. Some are much, much easier to implement than others. So for example, uh, Django is, uh, from what I've seen, much more difficult to get your head wrapped around and get going than if you use something like uh, a Laravel, as an example. I'm not making a qualitative judgment here. I'm just talking about time to deploy. At the end of the day, the whole point of the frameworks is first and foremost to save your time, second, to uh, eliminate the potential for bugs, So, which again comes down to saving time. So yes, uh, frameworks are super important, but don't have the wrong impulse and knee-jerk implement a framework for every single thing that you do. Ultimately, it comes down to a judgment call. It depends on the particular project, depends on the needs of the project, depends on... Uh, yeah, well, that's pretty much it, the needs of the project, right? If the project has a certain level of complexity, login systems, uh, lots of database access, uh, the need for caching, that kind of stuff, then of course a framework will come in handy. I'm thinking MVC. Uh, other times, you may not need it. So yeah, uh, would it slow down a project? Yeah, I've seen that firsthand. So for example, the mistake we made is because enthusiastic developers said, yeah, we, I want to implement a re, do rather a uh, static part or a uh, the branding section of Studio Web. And I had it done before with just some simple PHP pages with some includes. And that was it. Why? Because it was static. It doesn't change. Uh, not much complexity there. Uh, new, des new developer comes in. He says, ah, we use Laravel for everything else. Why don't we just use Laravel? I said, okay, we'll use Laravel. Okay, whatever. I had 10,000 things on my plate. And I made the bad call, and I said, yeah, yeah, we'll just, okay, we'll use Laravel. Yeah, because developers always want to think about, oh, what will happen if our static website becomes the next Facebook? We better have Laravel, which is not a smart way of thinking. Anyway, we implemented Laravel, and it came to uh, bite us in the ass in this situation because it was a simple branding site. And then the designer who... Uh, the front-end designer who was familiar with Laravel, he, he was pissed because he had to do a lot of extra work to implement the design so that it would configure with Laravel's templating system. And he was right. It should have been done static. It would have saved a lot of times. Anyway, it's in place now, but 
we never needed to use any of the power of Laravel for this implementation. Yeah, they can eventually start slowing down a project. Again, it depends on the framework, depends on the project. For my situation, because it was just a branding site, yes, it did slow down the deployments, and now it's a bit of a headache to add changes, where if it was just static or just PHP pages with some includes to, you know, to deal with common elements like menus and so forth and footers, boy, the site would have been much easier to maintain in that situation. But again, that comes down to experience and expectations of the project. So yeah, it's always good to start with the least complex implementation uh, for a particular job and to take it from there. So yeah, that's my take on that. Yeah, for so frameworks are great. They have tremendous advantages, but proceed with a little bit of caution.